Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to let you know that about Bibi Kampala Teva today. Yeah? So I was almost roped today afternoon at about two. Yeah, between one thirty to two PM. So um I've never been to down uh, I've never been to Nasarod before. Today was my first day being that side. But prior I've heard stories about how the place is full of fraudsters, place is full of thieves, apparently money printers. I don't know how true that is. And quite a number of weird stories I've heard about the place, but I'd never, like never been there. So today was like my first day. So while I'm on the streets of that road looking for the person I was looking for, it happened that I had four guys following me from the back. Now, usually when I'm moving, especially when I'm in a new place, I take note of the names of buildings. So in case I'm supposed to go there some other time later on, I'm able to remember, oh, I found this. This place is located on this road or something of the sort. Yeah. So um, I just walked past NASA Business Center. Yeah. So walking past that place, I noticed I'm being followed. So I don't pay attention. But then a few steps ahead, I noticed something was off so when i decided to turn behind to see what was going on i noticed of the four guys that were following me one was actually recording me from the back i look at the guys and i'm like excuse me what are you doing then one goes like Sha, ogenda kolo tia. so i'm like do i know you like do you go around recording strangers and all God, the guy goes and the guy has the audacity to ask me, uh, So I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? So I'm like, stop it. One of the guys is like, what are you going to do? Like in Luganda, I look at these guys, I'm alone first of all. I can't pull out my phone to call the person I was in town to meet here. Yeah? So I'm like, the audacity, the audacity. So anyway, um, uh, one of the guys has the boldness to tell me, I can't really, really, really <laughs> say what they said in Uganda, but in English, he was like, you call the police, tell them there's someone on Nasarod recording you, let them come and arrest us. I'm looking at these guys and I'm like, this case is such a joke, right? No ounce of shame, no ounce of nothing. They didn't give a shit, they didn't give a hoot. So anyway, the guy insists that I should remove my phone and call police. I'm like, you know what Melody, like you made him like, just keep moving. You guys, the guy insists that I remove my phone and call Auntie Ndiwa Chitalo, Bichi Bichi, Nefula Oba Bichi. So I'm like, this guy is actually provoking me, but I don't have time for such humans. So when I walk quite ahead, I realize, wait, this guy is actually pulling, pushing me to removing my phone from my bag to call the police. But in the process, they are trying to find out what phone I have. They notice I have an expensive phone. I'm going to be cornered and I'm going to be robbed in broad daylight. I'm like, yo, that's how I was saved from being robbed because had I been stupid enough to listen to this guy and I moved my phone to call someone for help I was going to lose my phone I've been robbed I think two times <laughs> I've been robbed so usually I don't remove my phone in public unless otherwise so just like that I was saved so I'm like these guys literally look for any single way to rob Ugandans whether it's night time, whether it's daytime, so be smart, be vigilant, ignore fools. Because I'm sure even the phone they could have been reusing probably didn't even have battery. But they're just teasing you, pushing you to doing something that is going to cost you millions at the end. So stay woke, be a lot. Kampala streets are never safe.